This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rispone. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to another October edition of Paradise, Louisiana, coming to you from Superior Bait and Tackle on Segan Lane. And for the second time in three weeks, we got Dean the Dream Lecoq. Dean, when's your next birthday? On October 22nd. When? October 22nd. Uh, boy, October, and that's this month. And you're going to be, what, five? Yeah, uh, okay. How many fish you, you caught this year already? You know? 5,000 I saw you on TV. You know, Guess you've been a star of the show. Guess how much I ate. How much you ate? Five? Well, look, I saw you on, uh, what's the name of that other show? Called Bayou Wild? Yeah. That's what your daddy produced with Mr. Donnelly. I see you on there all the time. You making any money there? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to pick on you, but look, you see what colors we got. This is October. It's cancer, breast cancer awareness month. I'm going to say it again. One of my favorite tournaments. Just so happens it's going to be on election day. The rodeos, the ladies, the Grand Isle Ladies Rodeo at Bridgeside Marina coming up this Friday and Saturday. There's a lot of other tournaments. Louisiana Kayak got one, and there's other tournaments going on. We'll give it to that our event calendar. So many tournaments. But one of the things we've been doing for ever since we've been on Paradise, Louisiana, we cover hunting and fishing day. Hunt fishing day all over the state. The two big ones with Woodworth and right here in Baton Rouge at Waddell. I attended the Waddell since my partners. And by the way, the original founder of Paradise, Louisiana was at Hunt and Fishing Day volunteering to identify fish. Mr. Joe Macaloosa. What a great guy. What a legend. So we talked to him and we spent a little while. We got that. I don't know how much time we got with fishing, but we got a long fishing report and a big event calendar. They had the state qualifying, the high school qualifying for the 2020 uh, state championship. It's going to be at Toledo Bend. So stay tuned, and we're going to bring you all we can, the information, and the news, and one more statement on the governor's race, and that's my buddy. You got anything you want to say? Can't hear you. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fish, Tell me you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The fish were ass on chicken boots. You, they shoot next door. We'll be right back. asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny?
Well, them volunteers taking care of here. You volunteer for the wild system, they take care of you, bro. Hey, everybody. Welcome to National Hunting and Fishing Day at the Baton Rouge location. This is the 34th event. We're excited to have everybody out here. We've got a lot of fun in the outdoors. There's canoes, there's some fishing, there's skeet shooting, there's archery. What am I missing, Carla? Um, we've also got out here today with us the Baton Rouge Audubon Society. We have the Louisiana Master Naturalists under the pavilion over here, and they're doing some different demonstrations and playing games with kids, as well as the falconer. Oh, we don't want to forget there are free hot dogs and drinks, and we got some fried alligator, which is going to be really good. So, um, yeah, we're just happy everybody's come out here. It looks like a good crowd. Everybody's having a good time pulling fish out of the pond. It's a great day. It's a great day to be outside. Wildlife and Fisheries has come in here and made the Quad Hill Wildlife Education Center, you know, a real popular place to bring kids, uh, and I'm talking about all kids, any kids groups, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, Boys and Girls Clubs come out here all the time. But they stocked, uh, they stocked about 200 pounds of adult catfish for this weekend, and uh, it looks like they, they're going to do okay. Uh, the kids are having a great time. Um, you know, I got the, uh, the saltwater fish part of it this time, but I remember years ago um, when Gary and I were standing out there doing our first show. So it's been about that long, I don't know, 18 years or so, and um, Paradise, Louisiana was born right here at Wadi
You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. One, two, three. Watching Peaches and Anna and Jack. One more time. Paradise, Paradise Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Fireline. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. And you thought Fireline couldn't get any better. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Welcome back to Spear Bait and Tackle of Paradise, Louisiana. Boy, did we have some events coming up. I mentioned this weekend now we got the ladies' rodeo coming up, the Grand Isles Ladies Rodeo. But we got something coming up November the 2nd that's going to be close to my heart. Joe McAloosa years ago was talking about all the high school alumni rodeos that go on, the Catholic High Jesuit, uh, Dines O album, Model Rum Rumble. I mean, uh, Rumble. But we look at all these tournaments that are coming on, and uh, our good friend, Jack, Payne at Sweetwater Marina really came up with a great idea. He was going to have the inaugural Battle on the Bayou High School Alumni Rodeo coming up on November the 2nd out of Sweetwater Marina. Now, it's going to be a $50 a person interest fee, but you have your team. They're going to give top prizes. They're going to give the top eight prizes going to receive cash awards, all right, Plus, the first place team is going to get a cash award for each individual, plus their school of choice will receive a cash award. Now, I want to remind y'all, uh, you can go on his website or Facebook, and you can find out more information. So that's going to be the, he calls it the first annual. Joe and uh, Don told me a long time ago, there's no such thing. It's the inaugural tournament. So... Let me tell you what, Sweetwater Marina, get ready, because in the fish report you're going to see there's a lot of fish being caught, finally getting caught, trout too. They got the second annual Sizzling for Seals Soray for the Navy Seal Foundation. That's going to be at the StabberFoundation.org. It's going to be at, uh, at, at Live Oak at the Cedars Lodge. That's on the 2nd of November also. Now, in there, there's going to be uh, the Stabler Foundation. They're going to have a state cook-off prizes. They got a whole list of sponsors from, from top sponsors all the way down. So uh, the guest speaker is going to be Karen Vaughn with the Gold Star Mothers. Uh, if you want more information, go to stablerfoundation.org. Knights of Columbus has got their tournament coming up Saturday, October 19th. At the V-Rock Marina in Lake Charles, we talked about that. That's October the 19th. Now, the DeSoto Tourism, third annual Battle for the Paddle in Logosport. That's October the 12th. And uh, I told you once again, the Louisiana, I mean, uh, Lafayette Kayak Club has got their event. Go to their website and see it. Now, we have some tournaments that came through this last week, and... Uh, Man, I'm telling you what, it's unbelievable. But the high school bass national and the state qualifying was held up at Henderson Lake on October the 5th, and these weights were unbelievable. But they had 170 teams fishing. And uh, I want to remind you again, it's a qualifying tournament for the 2020 state tournament out of Toledo Bend. First place, Hanson Cheney 
and Luke Ferracci from Walker High School. Five fish, 12.72. Second place, Terrellins Catholic High School. Dylan Guidry and Braden Melanson, 12.27. Third place, St. Thomas More High School. Drew Landry and uh, John Luke Lemoyne, 12.2. Central High School was fourth, Connor Russian and Ethan Simon, or Simon, however you want to say it, 11.8. And the West Baton Rouge high, uh, team come out with Bo Landry. And Cage Collins with 11.69. It's, it's unbelievable how many uh, limits they had during that tournament. So we're going to run a list. I don't know if you can see them all in there if we have time. But uh, tremendous tournament. Thank you again to, to uh, our former principal and coach, Mr. Gene. Now, here we go. We're going to look again. Uh, we got another tournament that, was, that we get every – twice a month or once a month at Lies Lunkers at East Pearl. Uh, they fished out of the East Pearl, but they had 19 teams, but they were chomping at the bits to go to West Pearl. Then the water was finally dropping, and they wanted to get there. Well, most of these fish, that's where they came from. First was Trenton Pittman, and Chase DeMar, Big Bass, was 5.19. They had 12 on it. They had 12 pounds, 5 ounces. 0 0.05 pounds. Uh, they had Timmy Dickens and Jay Breland was second, 11.20. Mark Moore was 10.46, fishing by itself. They had 15 limits weighed in. Their next time on October 26th at East Pearl. Let me see if I'm forgetting something. And uh, so I said events, 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 events. You think you got any other events? Ladies Rodeo, that's it. God bless you. We'll be back with a, a little short hunt report and a fishing report, which is long. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report and uh, I uh, mean, we got a good one. I'm going to start off the shoreline division right now. Sweetwater, hot as ever. I'm going to tell you what, they got fresh shrimp. Most of the fish caught on fresh shrimp, but don't give up on plastic. Uh, Matrix Shad and, and a lot of other of your favorite baits are catching fish right now. Uh, I got a, 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 a great report right now from Sweetwater. You know, Jack called me up the other day, tell me about this tournament. I said, Jack, where's the trout? He said, man, you will not believe it. They're finally turning on. They're moving in. The water's getting cooler. It's getting saltier. And I've been getting trout reports from uh, Lake Robin, Four Horse Lake, Shell Lake, Dead Duck Pass. I don't even know what that is. I know where Lake Amade. He said most of the fish are being caught on live shrimp and the Matrix Sad Lemonhead. That's been the top bait. They've been getting people coming in catching fish. Also, not far from there, uh, I got a, a good report from Maurice Hurst and his pals in, in Hopedale. Uh, Captain Calvin Duvall, he's been fishing Hopedale and, and Delacro. He sent me some pictures, and I'm sorry, my, my computer was messing up. I never get to got them pictures. But Calvin had some beautiful fish. He's been catching every time he's going out. Captain Calvin Duvall, you can look him up on his website. 
And you can also find his number at Island Marina, too, and they will give it to you. But Calvin been um, believing, unbelievable, the fish have been catching. Delacroix caught a few in Lake Bourne, but Hopedale and Delacroix right now has been his hottest spot. Uh, another one, uh, I get a report from Ponson Train. My old friend James A. Snyder, he was over there fishing for bass. He did pretty good. He started fishing at Jumpin' Manor. He was catching trout and Ponson Train itself. He said, but redfish are everywhere again, but not like they have been. He's been catching trout, fishing top water, jumping manor, and certain areas he was catching bass off of Lake Ponson Train. Dulac, John Bernard sent me a picture of three of his people that he's been over there catching fish with, and uh, he sent me their names, and uh, I hope we can run them on the screen, but I forgot to write them down. But let me tell you, John Bernard is really, that's his ministry, taking people fishing, and uh, they've been fishing Dulac, they're fishing fresh shrimp under a cork. Captain Clint DeArmas, <clears throat> been fishing out of uh, Island Marina. Uh, him and the other captains right there are doing well. Miss Angie, Mr. David, they're having a hard time. That new store has, has been producing fish between them and the landing down the road. Uh, every time I passed, the landings are full. Thank God it, they had a tough, they had a tough winter, and uh, I'm excuse me, they had a tough summer. But the winter, the cooler weather, everything's coming up. Things gonna be better. They're very excited. Got a lot of fresh shrimp, and uh, and a lot of places put in the landings. Everything is looking perfect. So don't forget when you go over there, check out Island Marina, Dulac. Uh, I had some other reports. I even they even had a death in the Cocodri area, where a fisherman, uh, a, a fire captain, fell in the water. And, and drown. So we offer our condolences to the family and everybody, especially in first responders. That it's just a tough loss, and it was really an accident. It was a very strange accident. Uh, Grand Isle, Tommy Vidrine is still hammering, big trout, not catching numbers. He's sending me videos. Uh, we just ain't had time to run it, but uh, he's still been doing good. Hal Lamb, my neighbor. Went out by himself the other day and had a grand slam. He was so proud of it, fishing. He had a limit of, of redfish, but he sent this picture. He had a flounder, he had a bass, and, uh, uh, and redfish, and speckled trout. He had them all. He had his grand slam. He was so proud of it. He was fishing by himself. Uh, again, uh, freshwater, getting reports coming, Sacolet coming. Uh, Steve Fontana, we had some of them old timers over there at... Uh, that the guys, and Harold Allen, and all them were at the landing, and the Bass Master Champion, Jack Haynes, he took a picture with him. I'm gonna try to see. I hope y'all see it. He come out. Uh, that's two of his heroes, and they're almost the same age. But uh, everybody knows Harold Allen fished the Bass Master Classic himself for so many years. He guides over there now. He does sackle mostly. But uh, I, I believe you could talk him to him. The, the bass start biting. They're doing it. There have been some big fish coming from Toledo Bend. Let me sneak this in. We had a hunt. Paige, our camera girl, and one of our cohorts. Opening day in central part of the state. World famous. Hunt, squirrel hunt, opening day. Look here, 20-something. Her and her boyfriend and her, her family. Thank you, Paige. And then, guess what? Miss Angie sent me one of her captains. Caden McGraw, look at this. Look at this big deer he killed with his bow. Congratulations, Cody. Uh, fresh water again, the Chaffalai Spillway, hit or miss. Depends on where you go. I had some friends right there in the soil there. They had 65 Sacolay. The buddies went after on their report, wind up catching five or six. You got to catch that water moving. Certain areas, sometimes it's rising, sometimes it's going down. Don't forget, if you're fishing down south, the tides also go by the regular tides that are, it is, is on the coast. So you watch them. They're usually about five or six hours one way or the other. So uh, fresh water, that's it. Make it short. Stay tuned. Come back and see us next week. Uh, we got some things coming up. Big election this weekend. I got one more saying about my brother. Okay. Everybody knows by now that Eddie Respondent is my brother. The election's this weekend. 
We're saying a prayer that he makes the runoff. And one thing I'm going to tell you about my brother. He puts his money in his heart where his mouth is. What makes him different than other politicians, they put your money where their mouth and heart is. For Gary Responding, to people at Superior Bait and Tackle, you have a great week. God bless Louisiana. This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rispone. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance,